Well, still I'm on day two in uh, Gatlinburg. It's still cold up. It's cold even down here <laughs> to the 30s. Up in the mountains, I guess they got a lot of ice, snow, sub-zero uh, wind chills. And uh, I'm so glad I'm in Gatlinburg. Had a nice, just that really great dinner last night. A couple drinks and just relaxing. We had a had a very hard time finding a room for tonight. And this place is just all motels. And, um, but it's holiday weekend and Friday night. So we ended up having to pay like 200 bucks for a stupid room. Fortunately, we're splitting it between two people, but um, it's the worst room. It's disgusting too. <laughs> but it's a great location. We're right downtown Gatlinburg. And, uh, so we got good food and stuff, and we're going to do a resupply. We have a ride coming to pick us up tomorrow at the outdoor shop, and then taking us back up to the trail. I'm talking about Gandalf and I. And we're just hanging in town together, you know. It's nice to have another hiker along, and because it takes a lot of, uh, a lot of calling and research and everything just to get rooms and places to go and rides everywhere if we need to go far. And right now we gotta tr figure out the trolley system. We're gonna get on a trolley and go two towns over to an REI. <laughs> but anyway, having a good time here and glad I'm out in the mountains. You know, freezing. Waiting for a trolley. So had to Take the trolley system out of Gatlinburg into Pigeon Forge and then into Seaverville to the IRI, REI. Uh, Gandalf got a new tent. I got some yellow curry. Now we're waiting for uh, the trolley to pick us up. Oh, yeah. It's only about nine miles to Gatlinburg, but it's probably going to take us two hours. <laughs> It's so busy and there's traffic jams. It's, it's a madhouse. It'd be nice to get back on the trail. <laughs> so, uh, back on the trail. And, uh, yeah, we missed all this super cold weather. Everything's froze. The trail is pretty icy. Um, very touristy area right here, but, uh, so back on trail, uh, I think I'm going 10 miles to a shelter today. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I gotta not fall. <laughs> um, it's really pretty. So, um, going 10 miles today. It's really nice out. I mean... Right now it's probably 30 degrees and very little wind, so should be good hiking. And uh, I gotta be real careful because it is all ice on the trail. Later. <laughs> woods are really pretty I'm in the shade though I wish I was in the sun <laughs> I think it was in the teens this morning or maybe it's 20 by now but I'm a little warmer uh, and I noticed today that there was a big climb it's a gradual climb it's nothing serious but um uh, this really amazing thing happens to your body after three weeks of hiking like this. 
through these mountains. And really, uh, it's really, I mean, it's so hard at first. And for a couple of weeks, first two weeks are just really difficult. And, um, but at the end of week three, which I'm at now, you get your trail legs. And uh, it just feels like my legs are on autopilot. And I, you know, I'm, I was breathing heavy earlier. Ice. A lot of ice on the trail. So the morning, <laughs> it takes a while to get the blood flow and get warmed up. But it used to take me about an hour. <laughs> now it takes about a half an hour. And then all of a sudden, you can just, any any gradual slope at least, or anything at like up to 30 degrees, you don't even notice. You just walk right up at your normal speed. And it's so awesome. But uh, you get the day hikers, you know, even without backpacks on, you just buzz right past them. It's a, it's a really cool, really cool feeling. Oh, I gotta get a picture of this. <laughs> This frozen uh, little water here. It's really pretty. It's hard to. Yeah, I probably won't. But there's just a there's a bunch of that stuff. <laughs> I'm like a kid in a candy store. Cause I love uh, I love these woods where it's so cold all the time up here for most of the year. I would say that. Uh, the forest has grown fur. <laughs> and I'll show you what I mean. I'll turn the camera around pretty soon here and show you what I mean. But the forest is is furry. <laughs> yeah, right here. Let's just show you. And you can see the snow in there. <laughs> but like I say. forest is furry. <laughs> I love these little tiny pine trees that look like full-grown pine trees. Look at this bonsai looking tree. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. <laughs> So I'm at this weird point in my trip that <laughs> I've really, and now I've got the body of an athlete. I mean, I'm almost jogging on the trail today. I don't know what's come over me. But, uh, but I got the mind of a couch potato. <laughs> All I can think about is chips and dip and beer and um, relaxing, finding a nice chair and um, <laughs> just fattening back up. That's all I think about. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I can see this coming. It's a nice point. Oh, January Just got trail magic. <laughs> okay, I was going to say. <laughs> From my friends ask yeah. me, when does winter end on the 18th? Amazing. Same response every time. I Then once you're finally bored, you hit the Mahoosic Notch and you have a snowball fight. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best part. I'm Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this place. These are all bunk houses. Alright. Okay. Get ready to serve dinner at the uh check my boat. 
<laughs> um, I'm going to come in here to grab something. I don't, I don't remember what. <clears throat> ah, shoot. Well, man. Sorry. <laughs> Coming out. <clears throat> okay, so again, I'm at uh, Standing Bear. Place is amazing. So you get these bunk houses, and they're, I mean, not rustic style. They're fucking rustic. <laughs> but um, the creeks run right underneath them. Rant, Andy. <laughs> People I've been seeing all along. Uh, let's walk around here. <laughs> this is the coolest people. <laughs> So it's 18 miles away. They're setting up. Uh, um, they're giving us free a free meal because it's Easter. So we get a free meal here at uh, <laughs> at um, Standing Bear. I know you see a lot of uh, if you're on Gut Hook, which is an app for hikers. <clears throat> they. Uh, they don't like, I mean, there's a lot of bad uh, comments, but man, this place is amazing. I'll turn around the camera in a minute, but, <laughs> oh, that's the dinner bell. But did you see that ball? It's just sitting there spinning in the standing way. <laughs> I have to go get my own spork. I don't give sporks away. And they want us to wear a mask, which is cool. Come on, man. Look at all that, look at all that hiker trash. <laughs> Absolutely, thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> look at this plate, it's just piled up with <laughs> all kinds of freaking homemade foods and uh, <laughs> it just filled the whole plate up. Ah, it's amazing. This is all free. <laughs> they were just saying that it was like, I hiked the furthest today. It was like me and one other guy from Tri Corner. So we deserve this meal. <laughs> Look at this. Get another huge plate. I don't eat like this before. <laughs> otherwise. But I hiked 18.1 miles today through the Smokies. And, um, as one of the other two longest dudes, so yeah, it's pretty good. It's a pretty big deal. She said I deserve that plate. She wanted to do <laughs> awesome, delicious though. It's all homemade stuff. This they made this. Yeah, it's all homemade. Amazing. <laughs> 